October 18th, today's scripture. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we eagerly await our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. Romans 8, verse 23, the New International Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Finding comfort in God's promise. Food for thought. In the midst of loss and grief, when sorrow weighs heavily on our hearts, we often seek direction and meaning. In such moments, today's scripture offers us guidance and comfort. Today's scripture reminds us that even in our most challenging times, we are not alone. The passage speaks of the first fruits of the Spirit, signifying the presence of God's Spirit in our lives, providing us with strength and hope during our struggles. As we grapple with the pain of loss, it's essential to remember that God's love and support are ever-present. The promise mentioned in today's scripture of adoption to sonship and the redemption of our bodies speaks to our ultimate reconciliation with God and the renewal of our beings in a heavenly sense. In times of grief, this promise can be a beacon of hope, reminding us that there is more to our existence than the pain we currently endure. Amidst our grief, we can draw strength from the knowledge that God's promise unfolds a future with healing, redemption, and eternal love. Redirecting our attention to the hope conveyed in today's scripture equips us to traverse life's journey. Gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to life's hardships, a force that can illuminate even our most troublesome moments. Today's scripture holds a key to finding gratitude in the midst of life challenges. How can we be grateful for the first fruits of the spirits mentioned in the scripture? Consider the small blessings and moments of God's presence in your daily life. These are the initial signs of God's love, and recognizing them can foster a grateful heart. How does the promise of adoption to sonship and redemption of our bodies influence your gratitude? Reflect on the future hope this scripture provides. By focusing on this promise, you can find gratitude in the assurance of a greater, eternal love waiting for you. Gratitude is not just about appreciating what is good in our lives. It's about finding light in the midst of darkness and hope in times of despair. In today's scripture, we discover a roadmap to gratitude, reminding us that even in our struggles, there's a promise of redemption and an everlasting love that we can be profoundly grateful for. Today's prayer. Lord, the time will come when we get to be with you fully redeemed. I look forward to that day. Amen.